Alright, this is five good comic book covers where I show you five good comic book covers. These are covers I like or covers that I like today. They are in no order and they are not the five best covers in the world ever. Simply... They are five good comic book covers. We have a theme for this one, and that theme is space. Some call it the final frontier. I don't. Are you honestly telling me that in the 58 years since going into space, Buzz Aldrin hasn't encountered another frontier. What about TikTok videos? This is Superman issue 28 from February 1989 and it cost 75 cents or 95 Canadian cents and 50p in the UK. It was approved by the Comics Code Authority, so there won't be any tits or sodomy in this one. Green Lanterns issue 91 from a November. Green Lanterns, the Rat Bastard version, he is in combat with his arch enemy, Mr. Sinister. Caught in the middle, prisoner of Mr. Sinister, or maybe prisoner of Green Lanterns, is Ara. It is all taken place in space, which is why it is part of this covers video, which has the vague theme of space. This is a nice cover. I must admit, if I wanted to, I could complain about the perspective and scaling being a bit confusing. But I won't, because I like this cover. Today we have Guard. G-U-A-R-D. The Imperial Guard spin-off. This is issue 18. Cover by Keith Magoo. I got a bunch of these Guard comics because I liked the covers. Guard 90. They put the year after the title. It changes each year. I bet there's one issue where it's like Guard 89 and it came out in January 1990. I bet that happened. I would wager money on it. Well, actually, yeah, the cover dates would be two ahead of release. So, there will be a comic that came out in November with a January cover date. And I wonder if it'll be... Now, I am invested. Do the years in the title match the release date or the cover date? This is August, so it doesn't give me any in. It's not often the case that the Marvel comics in a covers video are outnumbered by the DC ones. This is Jim Starman's cover to Affinity Abbey issue 4. This is, or it once was, the worst Fania story by Jim Starman. Until he started writing more and more Fannius stories, which are about as bad as this. The cover here is nice though. Gonorrhea looking out into space and seeing a planet with a bite taken out of it. Would be great if this was setting up Galactus Man instead of what we got. Here is one I didn't even know I had. 
This is Flask Forward, issue two. This was the Willie West redemption story. The one where they were trying to fix him after Heroes in Christmas made him a murderer. I really didn't know I owned issue two of this. I knew I had the first one because I reviewed it and couldn't go with it because it was reminding me every page that Willie West killed Red Arrow. But I apparently have issue two as well. And it has this nice cover by Doc Samson of the flask being absorbed into space. I'll send your brain to another dimension. I'll send your brain to another dimension. I'll send your brain to another dimension. Boing! Pay close attention. That was The Prodigy Out of Space by The Prodigy. I knew a guy who loved that song, but I fucking hated him. I like these covers, though. I think I will give the covers seven thumbs up, but... How many thumbs up will you give them? <laughs> 